Okay, so we want to be able to create cross sections through all of those different surfaces. So I'm just going to run through that process with you before we move on to the long sections. So just going to the top view of that landfill site. I just want to close my control center and then I'm going to go to my select road file. So remember you need to use a road file to set the alignment or to insert the alignment. So it's just road 1 that I've been using for that particular alignment for the cross-section extraction. And I just want to have a quick look at the layers. So remember we have multiple surfaces that we're working with and we're going to extract the data from each separate DTM surface and store that information to the road cross-section layers. So here you can see my road layers, cross-section layers are all named from the excavation cell down to phase 6, so 1 through to 6. Okay, so those are the road cross-section layers, the data that gets stored in the road sec file, the sec 8 file as it's called now. Okay, then Generally, when you're extracting cross-sections, the rule is to put in your horizontal alignment and coordinate it at a certain interval. I've already got that alignment through here. So let's just have a look at the actual alignment. I'm just going to Graphical Edit, and you can see the start and end of my alignment, the start PI and the end PI. So the normal procedure is put in your alignment and coordinate it, which I've already done in this case. So I'm just going to section graphical edits so we can see a, a graphical representation of those road cross-section layers. So each of those DTM surfaces we've extracted now and stored that information in the road layers, in the road cross-section. So remember it's stored as an offset elevation pair. Um, generally wherever we intersect with the brake lines we would pick up a point. So those are all the layers, the cross-section layers. Okay, so how do we get those cross-sections? So I'm just going to show you the way it was generated in the terrain application using terrain cross-sections and extract. So we've got an alignment so we can use that extract method. These cross-sections have been extracted 300 meters to the left and 300 meters to the right. And you can see we're extracting it from each terrain surface and storing it to the various road layers or the corresponding road layer. So it'll be phase one to phase one. And that's the terrain surface one to road layer one. Okay, and then it would be two to two, phase three to three, phase four to four. In this case, the terrain surface and the road layer, I've given the same name. So you could actually name them slightly differently just to differentiate between the terrain surface and a road layer. That section search distance at the bottom in this case is 600 meters, which is 300 meters to the left and the 300 meters to the right that we've extracted our cross sections. I'm just going back to the roads application and to section graphical edit. Just once again to have a look at those cross sections. So in the cross section editor, if you want to make any changes, remember you just have to set the active line um, for that particular layer that you want to be working on. So that would be in the line settings. You can go set your active line to whichever layer you want to work on. And then you could go and make changes, insert or delete points, etc. Cross-section points. Okay, so next up I want to run through the plot routine. So it's plot generate. And then just selecting the cross-section all points sheet file from the knowledge base software folder. Then we're going to be plotting 300 meters to the left. So it's a negative to the left. Um, and then your positive value to the right. You'd set your start and end chainage. I'm just going to go for 100 meters at 20 meter intervals. And then I'm setting my horizontal vertical scale 
and we just have to specify then which layers that you want to plot which cross-section layers so in this case we've got six and I'm just setting different pens for those additional phases the cross sections through the different phases and then we can finish so there the plot routine is running and you can see that cross section at change 400 so that's basically the procedure to plot cross sections through multiple surfaces um, so you're extracting information and storing it to multiple road layers Okay, and then just to show you that published drawing that I've added annotation to. So that was our cross-section layout that I've published. And then I've added some hatching and some annotation for the different phases.